Amusements, 50p a go. For a um, remote area in Wales, that's not very good, but it's a new arcade, a new place for me to film content. Um, yeah. At present, it just looks like the X1s here, so. Exactly high end, but we'll try it nonetheless. I'll try for them headphones. Great. This one, Claw, actually looks quite small for this one. As a result, so it did not pick the or up. So let's try this one. bit better. Still not a great drop height on these though and definitely not a great price to justify it either. Cables falling down there. Questionable um, maintenance on these EX ones. Uh, I've missed that, but I would like another go. So, for some reason, the change screen gave me 10 p's. So, we'll be losing the extra go here, but uh, or possibly. I'm just going to get rid of these now. Claw-wise, I want to play, so brilliant, no prize. I guess drop the hook is probably my favourite one here. Mm -hmm. From nowhere near far enough. Fortunately, the prizes aren't very high end either, so. I don't have Groot though, so I will try for him. Hmm. 
Interesting. Interesting indeed. I didn't appear to rig, but I was quite far off mine, so... So let's go. Yeah, rigged. So I guess I'm quite sure, but this is Buffelli Amusements. Not my favourite arcade actually, but I had to come and have a look anyway. Right, so I'm at Havre and Moor, my local holiday. And um, they've got this big one with a Sonic in it, so I think it goes without saying what prize I'm going to try for. Though, you might be a bit too far to the left there. Or maybe not. Go on. Ooh. We've moved a little bit anyway, so let's just see what we can do. Drift a bit there, and it might, yeah. Hit everything. There is another Sonic machine with small ones in, albeit it's an e clock, so let's go and try it. Yes, yeah, so it's 50p a go here, but it's justified. Well, mm, I don't know if I'd say that, but it's a holiday camp. All high profile holiday camps have 50p a go e clause. Park Dean, Haven. To give them credit where it's due, Pontins, but I'd laugh if they expected 50p for their machines. So, so all the good holiday camps anyway, Haven's machines are 50p a go. Park Dean's equals are 50p a go. Uh, I don't know about Butlins because I've never been to one, or never been in one rather, because I've never stayed at Park Dean Mines. Um, 50p, I would imagine Butlins would be. Um, so yeah. But it's equals here and they're not horribly weak, so I think I'm a little less hard pressed to pay 50p a go for a claw here than I am at the Feli Amusements. And I wish that kid in the background just stopped with a squeaking toy. Come on. Ooh! So this is incredible rigging for an e claw. They've set them up well, and, it, and to my understanding, it is Crown Leisure that own these, so. So, but Crown, they're amazing. Just look at Blackpool Amusements, for example. If you can show some of the rigging here, you know, out, outdoors, Blackpool Amusements is e claws It's, it's good. I'll give this, well, this is my last go. So after this, I'll try another machine. I'll try a few of them here, actually. Go on, ooh, incredible. Already impressed with this place. So they have two shiny cubes here. This one is, one that has Stephen the Seagull in it. So uh, we'll try this one. This one actually doesn't go to the middle when you start. Mm. I, I can't say I've ever seen that on a shiny cube before, so. Mm. Unfortunately, it does seem weak, but it's by this part, by the front, so it might be stronger um, by the back to start with anyway or it could just be said to be completely weak. Um, it seemed a little bit stronger there, but they're not in very good positions, mind, so. Hmm. This one's the downside anyway, but 25p a go for this one, so at least it's not as bad as the last arcade. Or by the wing, maybe not. Yeah. Well, I picked it up that time, that's a good sign. Yeah, they're, they're weird, these seagulls here. You have to, my trick anyway is try and get one claw behind the wing to pick it up. Uh, did drift there a bit. Can't um, recreate it. Oh, don't mind. Although I should not mess about. Uh, just try and get a good grab. Good position, which I kind of failed on that part there. Yeah, it seemed weak there, actually. So with Sea Light, on, on most shiny cubes, it just go to the middle, but you have to actually move it yourself. It doesn't move when you put a credit in, so that's 
I want to say that's actually quite uncommon for um, shiny cubes, actually. Let's see if we can get Steve in here now. Hmm, maybe not. I'll try some other machines. We'll see with this one. That's quite a strong initial grab. Very good rigging again. Um, I'm quite impressed with that, actually. Because some eclos do it just before it hits the top, some do it by the middle, some do it quite early on, but these take it literally to the top, so, and it catches even me off guard, because I think it's a payout, which obviously it's, it's not, so, yeah. An eclo set of right can actually be a very good machine, despite what I might have said in the past. I definitely prefer them to EX1s anyway, for the sole purpose that typically these do get set up better. Up there, just about gets to the top, and then uh, let's go of it. So, for an equal, that's excellent. I don't know why I'm going, yeah, it looks like a strong, strong grab there, but it's in a bit of a bad position. As much as I do want one of these big Sonics, um, I might try for Steven actually. Do not hit that dinosaur. Oh, it did. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, this one might be the best. Got no more change after this, so I will get more. So I do want to continue playing these ones. I quite like this place. Go on. Oh. Yeah, more money shall be taken. And, uh, footage of having it more will continue because I right, actually yeah. don't mind this place it's quite good even though it usually are. I'm gonna try this multicolored Sonic one again I quite like the design on these ones and I'm quite happy they have them here because that will the toys I was playing at Lions was very bad or quite weak so um, we didn't manage to get one there we could here but well, there's a better chance because this actually picks them up so tempted to even say, despite what I may have said in the past, equals is better than World of Toys, which would probably be a more intelligent um, opinion to have. Go on. Ooh. See? Now, not gonna lie, the first go when it took it up that high up, I thought, yeah, okay, I think I've hit payout here, but no, it's actually set up really, really well. Which I would expect nothing less from Crown Leisure, actually. Oh yeah. So um, I shall try some more. I might try the shining cube again. This one. No, I'm not going for perfect. Oh, this one actually doesn't uh, move to the middle immediately. Um, to try for that, this weird orange. That's a move thing. Whatever these um, are supposed to be. Didn't quite grab it there. Try and get into a good position where you can see it. Um, actually, because it's here, I think that's a, someone's one on the one behind me. Ooh, it's a teaser. This I do hope we manage to get a win, but we'll see. Oh no, no. That bears another pound, actually. I'm tempted to try the big one again as well. I didn't get a good grab on Steven, but... You know, cut. Ooh. Bit of a uh, riggy shining cube. Nope. Okay, there we go. We got one. I'd say I'm happy with that. See if we can get another one. Probably not, but... 
so I redeem our prize. So this thing, um, it's a win. Uh, I'm quite happy with that, so yeah. Having a Mosa is better than uh, that last arcade. Big one, again. Steven is in a pretty decent position now, so as long as I don't hit that glove, you should grab him. Mm. A little bit weak for my liking. Uh, that's Frat. There are equals and shiny cubes we can play, which are good machines. For some things, pink. Yeah, again. Just again, just possibly best rigged on an E-Floor I've ever seen. Oh, now it's in a position I want it to be in because we can do my trick of grabbing it, that being trying to get a claw around his wing. Which it's hitting this whether you can do it. Um, there we go, that's a perfect grab. Ooh, no. Last try. I'll try the Sonic one again. Maybe. No, someone's playing that. I'll come back to that one possibly. But my next um, point of target is probably going to be the other shiny cube. One. Yeah. Sick. Try this one again. I'm glad they're doing more Sonic plushies rather than just the generic ones they've had for like, I don't know how many years, I want to say four, 2019, possibly even sooner. So there's been different designs with them now, which is good. Personally, I want to see more characters as plushies in claws. I want silver, don't care about any others, but I want silver. Because um, we've really got Tails, Knuckles, Shadow. I want Robotnik back. Um, what other epic underrated Sonic characters are there? In my opinion, anyway. Given the release of Frontiers, I want Sage Flush. Um, I want Methless Flush. Um, what? For the adventure fans, Maria. Maria Flush. Gerald Robotnik. Make those plush, I'll be happy. And we're not going to be winning this one. There'll, there'll be other times, though, because these will be in a lot of claws soon, I'd like to think. So, uh, Got three more pounds. I'm gonna go back to that shining cube actually and uh, see if I can win Stephen the Seagull again. This one was here, miss. You could get a good grab on it. Other times it would be weak. So we'll see. I think this one here is probably our best bet. Yeah. It's gonna take work, but we will have 12 goes on that, including that one I've just had. Four for a pound, three pounds. That makes it um, 12. So uh, we'll see what we can do. It might not be 12 actually if we win before, but again, we'll have to see on that one. Ah, oh, no. As I said, you know, it might take some work to actually get him into a position where he can be grabbed. So I think we've already done that. We grabbed him and it's dropped it. Of course, typical UK floor, but I'm used to it at this point. I've grew up with UK claw machines, I've been playing them for 15 years, been filming them on YouTube for 5 years. So uh, yeah, I pretty much know the score here. Excellent position now, so we could get him, but I think it's a matter of um, payouts. The shiny cubes are usually on top of the rigging. That being said, nice. We got Steven the Seagull as well, which I'm happy because I have one to one for a bit and now I've got one. Yeah. Worth the trip to Profelli, I would say, for that. Profelli Amusements wasn't very good, I'll admit, but having him more, I love it. I think I've made that very clear throughout this video, that having him more is great. So, you know, if you stay, I wouldn't say 
Well, it depends. If you if you local to Perfelli, I'd say come and have a look at Havana more. But if you can get in, of course. Thankfully, there was no security on the door, so I just got in. Um, but if you're traveling a far distance like I have, because I've come from North Wales, um, I don't know, I guess if you really, really like Shining Cube's knee claws, do it, but it's not one I would personally do again. Nothing against Havana more. It's brilliant here, but this is a bit of a long journey when Shining Cube's knee claws are literally every arcade, but hey, Steven the Seagull, that's made my trip that. An added bonus is now we have a spare pound, so I will try this one once again. Do this, um, and we're done here, I think. Can we get the cherry on top and win this as well? Maybe not. I won't complain if we don't win it, but you know, it would, it would just be nice. I'm not going to be getting it with grabs like that, I don't think. Uh, Try this one by the shoot like I was doing before. Good enough. Ooh, that almost went in. Oh, this. Oh, that, no, that was our last play actually. So that's having a more. Very, very good place. I like it a lot. So um, if you are staying at the holiday site itself, definitely check the arcade out if that's your thing, which I imagine that is your thing because you're watching this video. Um, but if you're local to Buffelli, uh, definitely come and come here and check this one out. Um, no, not for the case having a more, like I said, just personally because of the long drive from where I am. I don't think I would make an extreme effort to return just for this. There's not a lot here, but for what it is, it's actually a good arcade and I'm very impressed.